I don't know how I feel about this product. Chicken crisps. <laughs> I feel like this could be really good or it could be really bad. Found them at Sprouts. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, when we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So... Chicken crisps. Chicken crisps. Is this just like fried chicken skin? No, it's not, because it says on the front, oven baked with free range chicken, coconut flour, and premium oh. salt. Coconut flour. So... So uh, Epic makes good pork rinds. We yeah. like their pork rinds. We used to buy them all the time before we found the other company. Pork, pork and good. good. And uh, they have those bars, which are good, but some of them are higher in carb than I'm willing to you eat. You really have to their look at- Their meat sticks are good. Each label though is different. Yeah. So these are chicken crisps, pink Himalayan and sea salt. Pick them up at Sprouts. I'm almost afraid to ask how much it was. We'll find out when we get to number four. Okay, so it looks Whoa. like a potato chip. That is, oh my gosh, it is like dense, almost like melba toast. It doesn't smell like anything. It really doesn't smell like I'm gonna anything. Want to dink it? I feel like I'm gonna break a tooth off. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm a, can you hear that? <laughs> I mean. Who has the teeth for this? They are definitely, Crispy, like too thick crispy. Wow, that is strange. I mean, you taste chicken, but you know do what? You? I do, but you know what it, it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Is if you've ever had like overcooked chicken that's like super dry. That it is weird. It tastes to me like almost like a really stale, not good tasting potato chip. That is strange. It's really strange. It's too thick. It's, it's, Kind of hard to believe you're going to say this on keto. It's too crunchy. Right? Like you do. You feel like you're going to break a tooth on it. I would be afraid to serve these. as You know what I mean? Because I'm thinking, well, these would make great no. hors d'oeuvres because you could top stuff with it and leave it and it's never going to get, you know. Five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Oh my it? goodness. Number one, the ingredients. Chicken, coconut flour, pink Himalayan sea salt, sea salt, and then it contains coconut ingredients. So the ingredients are really good. Yeah. I I don't know. I mean, it I mean, when I protein. saw chicken crisps, I was like really excited. I did quickly glance at the ingredients in the store. Because I was thinking chicken skin like you, and I love chicken skin. I don't know. The ingredients are good. I, I will say that. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of the coconut flour. It doesn't taste coconutty, but they dry it out too much. I was going to say, how are they getting this consistency? Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? All right. So the entire pouch is a container. Okay. That's amazing. So that's a Rachel, like, positive. Total Rachel serving. So there's 190 calories. Okay. 22 grams of protein. If you eat the whole bag. Seven grams of fat. Eight total carbs, six dietary fiber. It's all coming from coconut flour. Coconut flour is high in carbs. So two net carbs, but I mean eight total carbs yeah, but for it, this. It's coconut flour, so I'm good with that. It's definitely going to slow you down as far as how much you're I able mean, to eat. I mean, just to give you an idea, there's a lot in here. But it's there is a, a lot. It's going to take you a while to chew that. Yeah. Okay, so number three, and that is how do they taste? They're nasty. I don't. They're, they're not good. I don't think that they're nasty, and they've sort of like grown on me because they're so crunchy. It, except for it scares me a little bit with my teeth that they're gonna break off. But if my teeth don't break off, like I feel like this is a really 
crunchy, crunchy snack. It's gonna There's take you a There's a lot while. of things that are crunchy. You can eat like, you know, just a piece of glass and it's gonna be crunchy. This reminds me of chicken bones. Okay, here's, here's the thing. You wanna say, okay, so it's growing on you. You're not saying it tastes great. You're just saying like, it's a good crunch. Well, and it's a good conveyance. I mean, if you put cheese and There's stuff in this. There's a lot of things that are a good conveyance. Okay, Guacamole. Here's, here's, maybe I can swoop you over to my side with this. Okay. Anytime I eat something, heck, anytime I buy something, I like to put it through a formula of, is it worth it? Okay, so like for example, buying something like, or even if we go out to eat, we don't. Why people say, why don't you go out to eat? Because I look at, is, How much it, is it worth costing? it? Like if if it's gonna cost us a hundred bucks to go out to eat, which is what it costs if we go get one of those giant prime ribs, I've got to weigh out like, is the hundred dollars I'm gonna spend on that I'm meal still chewing this. worth the two hours that we're gonna spend it, or like could I get a lot more enjoyment for that same hundred dollars that's going to take it a lot further than just a two hour meal? Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. And I look at everything I buy like that, like, is it worth it? Except for toothpaste. Like, I don't like buying toothpaste. That's three dollars. It's worth it. Obviously, though. it lasts a lot longer than it. buying we're a Starbucks our, drink. If we're gonna eat these, we need our teeth to be strong. Right. Okay. So let, when we get into food, we're for the most part total carb people. Occasionally net carb on a dessert day, but we always have total carbs in our mind. Right. So when it comes to eating food, I always look at once we get up past two or three carbs. I always look at, is it worth it? Because like I have X amount of carbs I'm allowed to have for the day. So if I'm gonna spend eight, 10, 12, 15, 20 total carbs on something. It better be awesome. It better be worth it. So going back to you, it's a good conveyance, a good crunch, but it doesn't taste great. It tastes like cardboard. It's, well, is it's tougher it than cardboard. Is it worth eight total carbs, especially yes. if you're normally doing 20 for the day. Yes. Not for me. It, you know why? Because I'm, I'm almost guaranteed I'm gonna get two servings out of this. Okay, now let's, let's put it there. So you can have four bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos oh, or this. or you can have a bag of okay this. but that's a very high platform to bring against these but again guys. like i limit my stuffed jalapenos because there's a carb in every single jalapeno okay i'd rather spend eight carbs and eat eight jalapenos than spend eight carbs and eat this I Do see you where, see where I'm going? I totally see where you're going. Like, I don't need the conveyance. Like, it's like, why don't we eat a bunch of keto, like, bread alternatives? I don't need the conveyance. I'm happy with a bowl of ground beef. Sometimes, I don't know. This, I, there's, that crunch is, okay. there's something to it. I know how to change your mind. Let's talk about number four. Oh, yeah. And that is how, how much, much does it cost? Are you ready? Okay, because this is one serving. This is supposed one supposed to serving. be one serving. Okay, this bag. Okay. In Sprouts. I bought it on sale. Do you okay. want to know the sale price or yeah. the original price? What's the sale price? Five ninety nine. That's the sale price. That was the sale price. So the original price was six ninety nine. Oh my gosh. So there's they're saying that there's about twenty crisps in here. So that means that like basically what is that worth? If there's twenty and let's say, let's say you pay, well I paid six dollars. Let's round it down to five. Right. That means that that's twenty five cents. Okay, honestly, if or is that even worse? For seven dollars, <laughs> I'd rather just buy the whole chicken and just go home and eat the whole chicken. I, I that's just, a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot of money, that and is it a lot. doesn't taste good. Okay, it's like okay. Going back, I'm gonna go back to my argument. The crunch is. I've got to win unique. you over. Do you want a Lily's chocolate bar or do you want a bag of this? Because you're looking at close to the same total carbs. That's insane. When you get into a serving of okay. a Lily's bar. Yeah. Or this, which one do you want? Lilies. Right? Like it's the eight total carbs has to be worth it. Yeah. I mean, now if you're just a net carb person, you... it's two net carbs for the whole bag, but it doesn't taste good. Sometimes I want a crunch. So you weren't winning me over with that because I could see wanting a crunch sometimes. It's the price. 
the yeah. thought of paying eight dollars for that or, or seven ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, too much money. Too much. Number five, we would we recommend this. I'm not gonna recommend it because I don't think it tastes good. If I recommend this, we're gonna get like 75% of the comments down below are gonna be like, it tastes like garbage. Why are you doing this? Well, it's, Why are you telling me to buy this? What it is is that crunch is so unique, but there is really no seasoning to it. There's no. <laughs> There's no, it just tastes like really like dry, it's dry bland. chicken. It's, it is very bland. And it, it doesn't even have a huge chicken taste. No. It's like an it's just, unseasoned, unflavored, well overcooked that's been sitting like in your refrigerator for a week chicken. You know why I think I like it is because it does truly remind me of chicken bones. And I will eat the, the end of the chicken bone. It, it seriously to me has more of a coconut taste and it doesn't have a coconut taste, but it literally, I really feel like you could have gotten the same exact thing by taking coconut flour, mixing it with some water and baking it and it would taste the same. Well, a little smattering of chicken. <laughs> I'm just telling you that it's it doesn't taste like it. It tastes like just wet, dry flour, like flour that you got wet and then baked it. But that's what it tastes. It tastes like you're eating plain flour. Yeah, that's the best thing I can go. Well, let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these. Hey, not everything's a winner, but we did pick it up to try it. Well, and I mean, if you get it cheap enough, I'd try it. I wouldn't get it for seven or eight dollars. I'm. Just, I don't even think the dog's gonna eat this. Yeah. So that's gonna be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these. Uh, now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.